Okay, so here we are in the house. My back is to the front door. One of the things that I was saying is that I love the glass on the front door because it give, makes it more light in, in the foyer area. So as I walk in, to my left is what would be considered an office. And there's high ceilings. I'm not sure if you can get that perspective. And then to my right is the dining room, also with high ceilings. One of the things I was saying is that given the height of the ceilings, it leads me to believe that this is built, was built by a higher end builder. Through that door right there is into the kitchen, but we're gonna go this way first. A little coat closet here. Your family room, your master, which is nice because there's a little alcove, so you have a little more privacy without people looking into your room. This is the master bedroom. Again, tray ceilings. This is the closet. It's only one closet. I would say it's okay size. It just depends upon how you use the space. And then the master bedroom. I mean, excuse me, bathroom. And then we leave the master bedroom. Go into the family room. I know you saw the outside, but just to give you a little bit of a sense. And this is the kitchen. I don't know if you heard me when I was talking. I said that I've seen some people cut a hole through this wall. So it brings you more light if you feel like it was necessary. The pantries are really good size. And then we have the three secondary bedrooms. So you have this bedroom, which if I had to guess was probably 12 by 12. Again, vaulted ceilings. This bedroom. And then this bedroom, which is the largest of the three. And then here is your second bathroom. The only negative is that this is the same bathroom that you would use for your kids as well as if you had house guests. But, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. The house in general is very clean. There we go.